Hey everybody, welcome to Team Faithfully Fit. This is Tracy Balderak, Five Star Diamond Beach Body Coach. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to use royalty, where did it go? Royalty free music. So I am doing a bunch of split test videos for my like page. Uh, many of you guys are doing videos um, that you're using on personal pages or like pages, and it's super important. Facebook is cracking down on the music that we use. So you want to make sure that you are adding royalty-free music to your video, okay? I'm going to do the best I can to show you how to do that. Um, first and foremost, I make all my videos in iMovie. So this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use iMovie. If you need a tutorial, go into the search tab in the Poach from an Awesome Coach page. There is a tutorial that I put in there on how to use iMovie. Do not use any music from iMovie. It is not royalty free. These are all things that I'm learning in my new training right now. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna make your video first. If you are doing like page split testing, and if you don't know what that means, you will be getting trained on it in the near future. Um, if you've already been trained on it, then you know what I'm talking about. A split test video for your like page should be no longer than 15 seconds. Make your video first. Again, do not spend a lot of time on video. You're gonna be adding music anyway. You just want a couple of seconds for people to get an idea about who you are. Planks, abs, workout moves always work out great. So I'm gonna use an old video that I made seven months ago that's sitting in my camera roll, okay? So to get my music to use for that video, I'm going to go into YouTube and I'm going to type in royalty free music in the search tab in YouTube. Okay. And for time, I already have it set here. Okay. Um, I've already picked my video. You can go through and you can listen to several different audio selections. When you convert it, like this one, for instance, with um, all the fancy rainbows here is over 20 minutes. So the converter will not work for music that's over 20 minutes. So I'm just going to take this one right here. It's super, super, super quick. It's what, um, three minutes. I'm going to make sure I like the music. Great. Perfect. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little arrow here that says share, and I'm going to copy the link, okay? Boom, it says copy right here, okay? I'm gonna X out of this, and I'm gonna go to my web browser, and I am going to type in YouTube, YouTube to MP3 converter. That's what I'm typing in. Save this site to your desktop. So, boom, here. I'm gonna save that baby to my desktop. Add to home screen, okay? That way I always have it. Boom, I added it. So, oops, it's there, right there now at the bottom. I'll probably move it and put it closer with my videos, okay? So it should look like this. Now you're gonna take your copied music and you're gonna paste it, okay? Just copy the link from YouTube. I'm pasting it in here. Convert video. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to push download. All right. Okay. There's another link up here. You can't see it. There it is. I'm going to copy that link. Okay, so I just copied my converted link, okay? Now, seems like a lot of steps, I know, but it is. Now I'm going to go to Puffin. See this little pelican right here? Or what is he? Not a pelican. A, um, oh, I guess he's a Puffin, okay? Click on this guy. It's a free app, okay? So you're going to click on Puffin, okay? And now... I'm going to download it to my phone through the Puffin app, okay? So I'm going to click up here, this plus, all right? I'm going to type it in, right. I'm going to paste it right here, okay? 
So I've pasted what I just converted and I'm gonna hit go. Great, okay? So it wants to know where I wanna download it. So now I'm gonna download, I clicked this device, okay? So it's basically gonna hold it in Puffin. So if I go to here, oops, successfully downloaded, it just gave me a little black box, and um, I'm gonna click on the download button and it's gonna show me everything that I've got downloaded. So I've got this music downloaded, okay? I've got three songs that are downloaded. And I can just use different segments of these songs. I don't need a whole bunch of royalty-free music. But for the work I'm gonna do today, I've got three downloads of royalty-free music. Now, the reason that you have to have your video already done is because what I found to be the easiest way is to just take this, take this music and it asks you where it wants you to copy it. So I just go straight to iMovie and I'm just gonna go ahead and make my movie, okay? So I'm gonna click Create New Movie. All right, boom, my music has already been put into iMovie. So now I can go here and I can add my music. And again, or sorry, I can add my movie. So, these are all my videos that I have on my phone. I'm gonna select this one that's already been pre-made, click the arrow, boom, woo! Listen. Okay, so now I can make my video 15 seconds, I think right now it's at 23. So I can shorten my video, save my video, and upload this. I can also email it to myself if I wanna use it for a split test because I do split testing from my desktop. But really, when I do this quickly, getting the music is one step, and now that I have the music, I can literally make super quick videos that I can use as split tests, and I can make sure I'm using royalty-free music so I do not get flagged or put in Facebook jail. So it's super important that you guys use royalty-free music. I hope this video helps. Post any questions in the comment section below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.